Welcome to a Code Report Leak Code video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to problem one of Leak Code Contest 69 entitled Jewels and Stones. So the problem states we're given two strings, string J and string S. Each of the characters in string J represents a jewel, and each of the characters in string S represents a stone that you have. And the question asks us to return the number of stones you have that are also jewels. So let's take a look at the examples that the problem provides us with. So we're given two examples. The first one, it says that our string J is lowercase a, uppercase a, meaning we have two jewels, and the string, which represents the stones that we own, has three A's and four B's. So we should return three, which is equal to the number of jewels, the three A's. And our second example is a trivial example. It shows us that we only have one jewel, lowercase z, uh, which does not exist in our string s, meaning that we should just return zero. So we're going to look at two solutions to this problem. One is going to be quadratic and the other one's going to be linear in complexity. So our first solution is pretty straightforward. We just have two nested for loops, the first one looping through our string s and the second one looping through our string j. And whenever a character in S equals a character in J, we know that that, uh, that character is a string. And so all we need to do is increment our answer. And once we finish our two for loops, we have our answer. Uh, so this solution is obviously quadratic. A more efficient solution, but a little bit more uh, typing involved, is uh, using an unordered set, where a set will do just as well, uh, but in that case, if we use just a set, our runtime would be n log n, not uh, linear. So in our first loop, we loop through uh, j, and we insert uh, the characters that we find in j into a, a hash set, our unordered set, uh, which we're calling jewels. And then we create a second for loop in which we loop over the characters in S. And any time we find a character in S in our jewels, we increment our answer. Uh, and so we know that because we're using an unordered set, our lookup on, on this data structure will be constant time. So overall, the complexity of this solution is linear. 